Okay, so here we are, just about to go up to the butchers and the Londis. And let's take it by walking and we'll see how the uh, roads look. Are they busy? Are they people walking about? Just walking out from work. We've been work for a short while today. And they're gonna need to get some stuff to find at home. So here comes a runner, we'll keep our distance. on speed that around the corner. A gentleman walking across the road and he's got a mask on. Both the balls head. But there's still plenty of traffic. But it's not as busy as usual of course. Quite like some people sitting outside. I'm sure if that's a communal seating area. And what the government's policy on communal seating areas in fact is. This seems to be a bit fascist with regards to parks. Wade's Mill 2. Cannon Tavern, it used to be a pub. Fortunately, it's a casualty of uh, pubs closing. A couple of cyclists. I think people are doing more cycling and walking with their families now than uh, they've perhaps ever done in their life. And the children, if they've got children, are having a that's a good time is uh, seeing more of their parents or one of their parents that they don't see so often. That's a really quite big house, it's been sold, but of course, unless that's been sold and completed, there will be no more exchanges of no more exchanges of properties. Government has now said that it's not allowed to happen. But I rarely come out of my office and walk around. But it's not that, I'm really not that busy. I've just come in. I come in most days for a, a short while to make a video. I come in to make the videos. cyclist. They pass within two meters, they don't give a shit as they go past, but they should be given a wide berth. That's why I don't go out every day. And people don't really, isn't the easy option. People don't really do the distancing so easily. The trees are coming into bloom though, which is something I'll be missing by staying inside. Look at the beautiful trees. Just here because there's someone walking up behind me. And uh, while well, he had his indicator going, didn't bother to didn't bother to turn. Lucky I didn't pull out, walk out in front of them. Well we'll see back was the was the indicator actually going. This lady looked like she's out for a sports power walk in sports gear. Gardener. This time of year, the uh, countryside and places in England can become quite, quite uh, beautiful with these trees in bloom. And when you go around in a car, you very rarely see it. 
not apparent because you're looking at the traffic that is coming towards you or about to overtake you or pull out. Been overflowing, and presumably that I'll still get in emptied, but that suggests that there's a lot of people walking past. Prevalence of water bottles, so I'm guessing a few crisp packets. That's families going out with the, for a walk with water and crisps for their children. So there's a comparison. Apartment living with maybe that maybe small, very tiny balcony you can use. Big semi-detached house with presumably quite a large back garden. Afternoon. The uh, McCall's at the green. Only two customers in at a time. It's only open until 12 now. So... We're going to go in here once this gentleman's moved. we we'll wait to go in the bushes. This is a good uh, Spurs bushes. There we go. He goes the posty. We've got an in and an out. I don't know, I'm filming, you don't mind if I film, do you? I don't know, what's important? Go on you, nah, it depends what you do, it's going on YouTube. All right? Is it? I can cut you out if you want. Oh, what's it matter? Just, just, I've got nothing else to do, get out there, look and video oh, where right. I get, last time I've done a couple of where ones, I had 100 and 200 views on it, so. Oh, well. Uh, I'm just, this yeah, is, this is, uh, it, what's the name of your butchers? G Pickett Butchers. G Pickett, what a fantastic, this is where you can get, where you can Go certainly get your meat. Look at that. Look at this. Got everything. Got everything, I'm only. a lot. This is the place to come. People are moaning they can't get their meat in Asda and, and Tesco's. Well, why don't you come up and see this gentleman? Yeah, but this is proper meat. That's water. This is super stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, I, I'm, yeah. I'm after some ham. Right. Please. Uh, and this also has the Spurs. Spurs and Saracen's place. Yeah. How much ham are you after? Oh, about 500 grams, please. Sounds a lot, but so tasty. There's a policy of waiting outside. She's waiting to turn this young lady. She's very kind. Well, you said tasty, and I looked out there, Jackie's waiting, see? Oh, is that what you reckon? We had this conversation the other day. <laughs> In fact, we have this conversation every time. <laughs> okay, well, I've seen some side that's like a bit of banter, but uh, don't worry about that. And we're outside now. Well, we'll buy our bread. This is the Londis now. This is uh, interesting because it's always got good stuff in it. I really only want to buy bread and maybe some orange juice if they're selling it. Um, so they've got most things still in here. Look, full up with stuff. Baked beans. It's, uh, most of the shelves are full, which you know so you'd expect. There's a few gaps, but there's biscuits. People want to eat biscuits, don't they? So we're going to get some bread, a loaf of uh, probably King's Mill soft white. We'll have a look, see what um, the date says. We'll come back down there. But looks like they've got any orange. Yeah, they've got a little bit. It's probably going to be quite expensive because it's the... Yeah, very expensive, but we'll get it anyway because I haven't got any more. Okay, so I don't need milk yet. I don't want bacon. It encourages me to eat. So they've got um, underarms. What else they got? But well, they got some um, some Dove soap and uh, Nivea soap and still no hand washing soap. Oh, thank you very much. Now I've got a bag to carry back. Here we go, we've been successful. We've got orange juice, we've got bread, and we've got ham. 
Well, the man in Londis was uh, said, "Fine, put the filming of the the shop on there," but uh, he didn't want to appear on YouTube. Well, a groove in the in the grass. Yes, this is the route that everybody takes. <clears throat> So we're well, I'm much higher up here. Uh, we walked up quite a large hill with some, quite some height from the road down the bottom. I think going down here it should be a lot easier, but uh, a beautiful tree. The crossing there, but of course there's not that many cars, so here in England I'm gonna cross without the green man, any f people watching from Finland would probably go to the crossing, press the button and wait for the green man to allow them to cross. They, and probably the same in, maybe the same in Kiev, Ukraine, but definitely I saw it happen in Helsinki. They just won't cross an empty road without a, a green man saying they can. Someone's crossed with the lights. It just seems it's like such a waste to press that button and make people stop when there's sporadic traffic at best. Thank you. Nice idea of observing the distancing rules. Walking faster than me, you know, somewhat younger. So I'm guessing that um, these are ex-council masonettes possibly, flats, and this bit of ground here is communal ground, <coughs> but it's now, I don't know, probably owned by the housing management company. So as such, this lady is quite happy and quite allowed to lay out on a lounge room. Good luck to her. Good luck to her. There is, she's not doing anyone any harm, and I don't see why, in some ways, why people can't do that in public places as long as they observe the distancing rules. And it's really, it's, in my opinion, it's, um, it's on the councils perhaps to go out to the public places and mark one way you can walk two metres away from somewhere else and little, little areas that people can lay on the grass or bring a seat to and sit in. And if you did that, Pretty sure no one could complain about distancing rules. It would be controlled. Okay, there's a couple of couples walking. We're gonna to have to try and keep that distance. Okay, they're walking on the roadside. Afternoon. Oh yeah. Hello there. Wow, my social interaction for the day there. That's about all I get. <laughs> On the other side, London. 21. So it suggests I'm 21 miles from London. But of course the outskirts of London starts a bit sooner than that. And maybe 10 miles or... It's interesting, we're getting little tiny flowers. Tulips or something, I don't know. Yeah, tulips, we have had the daffodils. Um, they're now finishing. I think the tulips are coming out. Okay, here comes another family. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Normally quite uh, reserved the Brits, but uh, if you say good afternoon or good morning to them, 
the politeness in them means they have to reply. It's quite funny, really. Otherwise, they'd never say anything. Okay, I'll finish here. Smash that subscribe button, ask for notifications, and I'll see you next time. Stay healthy, stay safe.